Hi guys and welcome back to The Mighty Blues. My name is of course Cameron and welcome back to day two, another video. It is a Sunday, look I don't usually do videos on a Sunday but there's been quite a lot of news over the last sort of 12 to 18 hours or so and I thought you know what we'll sit down, it's a Sunday morning, I'm sure everybody will be awake, logging on to social media and seeing all of the breaking news regarding Napoli midfielder Alan. We spoke about him on Friday's live stream but we said there wasn't much more information to give other than we know Everton are in talks with the player, the player is very keen to come to Everton Football Club, uh, there was a rumour on Friday night as to say that Juventus had tried to hijack the deal and offer Napoli a player plus cash deal for Allen. however Allen turned around and said no he wants to join Everton he wants to be reunited with manager Carlo Ancelotti and like I said over sort of Friday night we didn't really hear much but it all sort of kicked off yesterday, Everton haven't confirmed the sign yet of course but it started with Fabrizio Romano and usually when Fabrizio Romano links a, um, a transfer rumour or you know discusses a transfer transfer room and then it starts with the words here we go you pay attention you sort of sit up and you think right okay this is this is the big time now when he tweeted Alan to Everton here we go total agreement reached with Napoli for 25 million euros plus add-ons medical scheduled and personal terms agreed and talks are still ongoing with James Rodriguez. It was then followed by Paul Joyce, another very, very reliable journalist who said that Everton have agreed a deal with Napoli for midfielder Allen. The deal is thought to be in the region of 25 million euros. Um, De Marzio also backed this up by saying that Everton have agreed a deal for Allen for around about 25 million euros. So all of the big sort of reliable sources breaking this story now. It seems like Marcel Brand has done an absolute madness by taking the price down from a, a you know a room of 35 million euro, which is what Napoli are originally wanted to 25 million euro when Marcel Brands gets a lot of stick and has got a lot of stick over the last sort of few months or so from Evertonians but I think he needs to be given massive amounts of credit for managing to negotiate this deal down because the, you know we weren't only negotiating with, negotiating with Napoli for the player that they valued at 35 million euro but we were also negotiating with a notoriously difficult customer you know Napoli's president come out only a couple of days ago and said that they had impenetrable armour and they wouldn't give in to any club's demands and they wouldn't sell any player unless they got what they wanted and it appears like Marcel Brands has managed to knock that price down to 10 million pounds less than what Napoli originally wanted plus add-ons which is absolutely fantastic the Liverpool Echo was shortly onto the story afterwards and they said that they understand that Everton are closing in on the side of Napoli midfielder Alan the Blues have made significant breakthrough in talks with the Italian side and are understood to be on the brink of agreeing a £22 million deal so it looks like it's all good to go now like I said nothing has been officially announced the club haven't said anything of course because they won't until the medicals are done and all the papers are signed and he's officially signed for the football club but like I said it appears like uh, Alan will be an Everton player over the next few days or so hopefully a medical gets sorted very very soon uh, like Fabrizio Romano said personal terms are already agreed nothing so of in the way of that um, and like I said it, it takes it take something quite disastrous for this transfer to not go through now certainly because of how determined Alan is to come to Everton Football Club you know we've seen a couple of weeks ago he turned down the likes of um Atletico Madrid, he turned down um, big you know, European football clubs, he turned down Tottenham only a couple of days ago and of course the most recent one being Friday night when Juventus come in for him and tried to hijack it and you know, Napoli had to be happy to sell to Juventus, Napoli had to be happy to sell to any of these clubs if they'd have given the money that they wanted but Alan the player turned around himself and said no, I want to go and play for Everton Football Club, so like I said it's not being confirmed by the club yet, the medical still needs scheduling in and completing and then obviously all of the formal papers signed and the formal announcement but this one is looking like it is about to happen really really positive news for Everton Football Club 25 million pound for a player that will definitely come in and give us that edge that we need in centre of midfield he'll get about the pitch he'll throw a tackle in he won't be scared to put his head in the way he won't be scared to make himself known he won't be scared to throw tackles in and he'll lift the players up around them because he will lift their performances up by his performance because he'll go out on the pitch and he'll make sure that each and every Everton player that's putting that shirt on is performing at the level that he is performing or they'll be embarrassed uh, we're going to talk more about Alan in tomorrow's live Stream. We will be live at 5.15pm and um, we're going to do a, a video, a, a live stream about what Alan brings to Everton, how Alan improves Everton, so we'll sit down and we'll talk more about him on a grander scale, but I wanted to bring a little video today because it is breaking news, you know, a lot of the reliable journalists now, Paul Joyce, Fabrizio Romano, DiMaggio, all of these journalists that, you know, you sort of stand up and look at and think toward, yeah, you know, that, you know, if they say it, 
it's pretty much bang on. And like I said, it's not official by the club. The club haven't announced it, so I don't want anybody to think that uh, you know I'm bringing the announcement before anybody else. It's not official by the club. However, it's looking really, really positive now because of all of the journalists stating that the, the deal has been agreed. Uh, personal terms are no issue, and the medical is scheduled. We will have a little breaking news uh, video once it's agreed. You know, just giving my again initial opinions on the situation and confirming that the the deal is done. But you know, it's not just the Allen story today. It wasn't just the Allen story that I was bringing. Um, but that is looking. Um, pretty much sorted now like I said Fabrizio Romano, Dimaggio, Paul Joyce the Echo all along the same lines of that Everton are there or thereabouts have agreed the deal with Napoli for the midfielder and he will join the football club so that's really really positive um, like I said we'll get the breaking news video out once it is completely and officially announced by the football club uh, next bit of news <coughs> and information that come out last night there was a load of news that was released last night this is from TalkSport which aren't the most reliable source on the planet uh, I've got a lot of things wrong in the past but they have got a lot of things right as well to be fair and they said that James Rodriguez to, is to have a medical at Everton early next week the Toffees are expecting to sign the Colombian on a season long loan deal now again talking about Marcel Brands and Marcel Brands getting a little bit of stick from Evertonians over the last few months or so regarding his transfer strategies if Everton can bring in James Rodriguez on a loan deal which like I said I'm not I'm not particularly believe in this 100% because I don't particularly believe it 100% of what TalkSport says because they do come out with a lot of shite um, but if, Al if Everton can bring him James Rodriguez on an initial one year loan deal, bring him in, see how he plays, see how he settles in, if he does well, brilliant he's on a free next summer, he's only got one year left on his contract so I'm not too sure why this would benefit Real Madrid in any way, shape or form because they could potentially get around about 20, 25 million pounds or euros probably out of Everton for James Rodriguez this summer so why would they offer him on a loan deal knowing full well that his contract expires at the end of this year so if he does well at Everton Football Club and Carlo Ancelotti's impressed with him, we can just sign him on a free I'm not too sure how that works on their part but on Everton's part it's an absolutely fantastic deal there's, there's very very little to lose and I know he'll be on a lot of wages and I know there'll be a lot of discussions about you know <clears throat> his injury record and paying him over a hundred thousand pounds a week or whatever it'll be but bringing a player in on loan for a season allowing them a little bit of time to settle and <clears throat> get used to the football club, get used to the league, see how, how how they can do in the league, and then obviously them being on a free next season for me is, is a fantastic, fantastic transfer. Um, and again, <clears throat> we'll see how this one progresses over the next couple of days or so. I'm not 100% confirmed on it because it, it makes no sense on Real Madrid's part to do that, but it does make a lot of sense on Everton's part and it'd be a fantastic, fantastic deal if we could get that over the line. A little bit more information on Moise Keane now. Um, there was a couple of rumours a few days ago about Moise Keane potentially returning to Juventus for a season-long loan and then them having an option to buy him after that loan. There was another rumour just before that about him rejoining Juventus' B-side and providing uh, an option up front for their side, which made absolutely no no sense whatsoever and um, again we spoke about them briefly on the live stream I said I don't believe them whatsoever I don't believe that Everton to bring a player in one summer to then sell them back to that same club the next summer it just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever the Liverpool Echo have come out and said Everton have no intention of selling or loaning out Moise Keane this summer Keane is firmly in the Blues plans for the new season and has already spoken of his determination to prove himself under Carlo Ancelotti. And again, this was all sort of information that we knew uh, and that we, you know, we, we just needed to confirm him by a credible source, really. Look, there was never... <coughs> A chance of Moise Keane joining Juventus, you know, this summer, or uh, I, I just don't understand. It wouldn't work for it for for either uh, Everton or the player for me. Um, yes, he didn't have a fantastic season last season, and yes, it wasn't as ideal as he would have liked. However, you know, this is going to be a big, big season for Moise Keane, for, uh, for, in my opinion. Um, he's spoken about his his desire to play under Carlo Ancelotti and his desire to play um, and prove himself under Carlo Ancelotti. And Carlo Ancelotti, on the other hand, has spoken about how he wants to keep Moise Keane and how he wants to improve Moise Keane and how he is part of his plans. Going forward so when I read these rumors a couple of days ago I was like no absolute nonsense I'm not having that whatsoever there's no way that would you know would sell him back to Juventus after a year um it would it would be pointless financially it would be it would be absolutely pointless um but you know obviously the echo there confirming that uh, Everton are, uh, are wanting to keep Moise Keane or no um you know no idea of loaning him out or selling him and that the player wants to stay at the football club as well so I think this is just paper talk at the moment and um, for paper talk's sake but that's the latest on that one the mirror 
then released an article this morning saying that Everton boss Carlo Ancelotti is interested in bringing in Manchester United's Sergio Romero. Uh, Ancelotti wants to put pressure on Jordan Pickford after failing to impress last season. So there you go. Carlo Ancelotti apparently interested in Manchester United's second goalkeeper, Sergio Romero. This is really, really interesting, this one, because this comes only a couple of days after Manchester United confirmed that Dean Henderson, who is their... <coughs> Uh, another one of their goalkeepers obviously spent last season on loan at Sheffield United. They announced that he had signed a new six-year contract with the football club, I believe it's six-year contract, and he is probably the natural progressor to David De Gea's role at goalkeeper. I dare say when David De Gea moves on, it'll be Dean Henderson that takes that number one spot. Fantastic season for Sheffield United last season. Really, really solid. Very, very close to getting into the European competitions as well. Uh, a load of clean sheets. A very, very good goalkeeper, and it's clear that Manchester United have spotted that and wants to make sure that he doesn't move anywhere else um, now where does this leave Sergio Romero well at the moment it probably still leaves him as the number two because I still think that Manchester United will loan out Dean Henderson this summer because I don't think they're ready to sell David De Gea and what will be the point in, in keeping him on the bench so it probably does leave Sergio Romero as the number two at Old Trafford at the moment however it does basically confirm that he won't be there for very very long and that once Dean Henderson comes into the football club and maybe David De Gea drops to the bench or David De Gea is sold you know it, it's pretty much guaranteed that, that Sergio Romero isn't be, going to become the number one at Old Trafford he's either going to stay as the number two when Henderson moves to number one or he's going to drop further down the pecking order so uh, he might be looking for a move he's a very 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 good goalkeeper considering he's a number two for a side that isn't even challenging for the for the you know the Premier League title and, and you know okay they finished what third this season but let's be honest for the majority of the season they weren't fantastic um, he is a very very good goalkeeper to be sitting on a, on a bench he really really is and would they take him at Everton 100% do we think he'd give competition to Jordan Bigford 100% he will probably be good enough to, to fit in and be our number one going forward now of course this is coming from the mirror again aren't the most reliable source of being notorious for making things up in the past uh, I think this is a rumour that makes a lot of sense because a lot of Evertonians would want Sergio Romero to come into the football club and would believe that Sergio Romero would improve the football club which he would, um, whether Everton are interested in him I don't know, uh, I think he'd be a goalkeeper that would demand first team football if he was to come to Everton and I just don't think we're in a position to sell Jordan Pickford at the moment. I don't think there's any clubs that are wanting to come in for Jordan Pickford. I think it'd be very, very difficult to shift him for a reasonable price this summer. Uh, and like I said, I can't see Sergio Romero moving from Old Trafford sitting on the bench to Goodison Park sitting on the bench. I just can't see it happen. Would I take him? Yes, I'd love him. Uh, and I think he would at the very, very least provide strong competition for Jordan Pickford and he'd probably fit in as number one um, but I, I can't see this one happening if I'm being completely honest uh, and the final bit of news today to break is that Everton have confirmed that Tuesday's pre-season friendly against Blackburn Rovers has been officially cancelled the club released a statement today saying the Blues were due to face the championship side at Ewood Park in what would have been their second warm fixture um ahead of the 2020-2021 campaign but following discussions between the two clubs the game has now been called off uh, Carlo Ancelotti's side's next outing will be against Preston North End behind closed doors at Goodison Park on Saturday the 5th of September with a 3 o'clock kickoff. now the club didn't actually release any sort of statement as to why the friendly had been called off uh, Richard Buxton who is, a, who is a journalist said that he believes it's because of a spike in COVID-19 cases in the area there's also been spikes in and around Blackburn as well the club haven't confirmed that yet but I dare say it's something to do with that so what we know is that Everton won't be playing Blackburn on Tuesday uh, our next fixture will be against Preston North and next Saturday a week yesterday uh, in our final pre-season game so only two pre-season games before going into the uh, Premier League season and um, which again <coughs> is a little bit worrying obviously it's not the best preparation is it let's be perfectly honest considering a lot of clubs have either played you know a three or four pre-season games or have still been playing competitive football for example Arsenal yesterday in the Community Shield and um, you know Bayern Munich and the likes you know in Germany playing in the Champions League final only a couple of weeks ago so it's not the best preparation only having two games but it's a weird pre-season of course with the quick turnover and what's going on in the world and all of this sort of stuff so it was to be expected anyway we're only going to play three games anyway uh, hopefully this gives the chances to the likes of Alan if he comes in, James Rodriguez if he comes in any other player that comes in to get a little bit of more time to settle um, you know, between now and next Saturday and hopefully before we play Preston North End next Saturday we'll have at least one signing in at Everton Football Club. So there you go, that's today's video like I said, don't usually do videos on the weekend but I thought you know what, I'd sit down and I'd give a little bit of a news update like I said, it's not confirmed, the Allen deal isn't confirmed yet by the club however, 
a lot of reliable journalists. Like I said this on Friday, if you are one for transfer rumours, listen, if you're a fan that sits there and says, I'm not interested what Fabrizio Romano says, I'm not interested what the Echo say, I'm not interested in what anybody says, until that player is at Finch Farm holding that shirt up, I don't believe he's signing for Everton Football Club. That is completely fair. But if you are a fan that likes to look at transfer rumours and analyse them and believe them and not believe some and believe others, then it, you know that pretty much everything is in place here for, for Alan to sign for Everton. Like I said, Fabrizio Romano, Paul Joyce, Demarge, even the Echo now confirming it. It doesn't get much more solid than that. Don't get me wrong, it's not officially confirmed and, you know, uh, we, we, he won't be an Everton player until it is. However, it's looking like it is on the right track for that to happen. We will be doing an official announcement video once it does get confirmed by the football club. Again, giving more of my brief opinions and talking a little bit about the signing uh, of Alan, of course. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll be doing a live stream tomorrow, quarter past five, talking about what he brings to Everton Football Club and how he brings uh, his quality into the Premier League. So join us live for that one. We'll keep you up to date on all of the latest transfer rumours for Everton Football Club, including Alan, including James Rodriguez, including Adelaide de Corre, and any other player that has been seriously linked with a move to Everton. The Talking Rubber Transfer Show will not be happening this week um, because, like I said, we'll be talking about Alan tomorrow and then I'm actually away from Tuesday. We've got a video coming out about fans returning to stadiums on uh, Wednesday and then we might have a little preview up on Friday for the game against Preston. So there won't be any Talking Rubber Transfer Shows this week. That'll be returning the week after next. Sorry, next week, the week after next, it'll be returning. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a Sunday special video talking about the latest rumours and latest bits of information just so you're kept up to date with it for the next few days or so. Big, big thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please, please do leave a like. It does only take a second. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Let me know your thoughts on the Allen situation. Are you one of those fans that isn't, you know, completely convinced until he's at Finch Farm with the Everton shares or are you very, very excited about the situation now? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please do hit the like button if you have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. Join us at 5.15pm tomorrow for another live stream and we'll see you soon on the Mighty Blues.